Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I know I'm a little crooked. It's only for a short period of time, but today we are going to clean out my palette drawers. Even though this video says declutter in the title, if you're expecting a really big declutter, definitely not decluttering a bunch of palettes. Just the ones that I feel have no more value in my collection. If you're new to my channel, eyeshadow palettes are my pride and joy. They are my babies. I do so many different palette videos on my channel, which is why it's so important for me to keep all of them. And also they just make me happy. My drawers have started to definitely overflow and there's so definitely some palettes that I feel are ready to vacate the premises. So join me in getting rid of some of my eyeshadow palettes. I just thought I might as well film it and take you with me. Now, let's see, right here is where I put all of my eyeshadow palettes. This is one of the drawers, turn my camera a little bit more, from Ikea. It's perfect because they're very shallow drawers. They're great for holding palettes. So we're gonna start off from the bottom probably and work our way up. To add because I know a few of you are gonna ask, like my super luxury favorite palettes, it's like Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, Busy Art, Charlotte Tilbury. I store those in a separate area and I'm definitely not going to declutter any of those so yeah that's why they're not in this video all right guys so this first drawer right here is mostly my drugstore makeup palettes like i said most of these i will probably keep but there are some things that i'm ready to get out of here so let's take a look i definitely want to hold on to all of my bh cosmetics palettes because they are just amazing however i do think it's time to say goodbye to the carly bible palette this was an awesome palette it was very very loved by me it has the most gorgeous tones in here but it's very very old and really doesn't have much value on my channel so i actually might keep this around just for certain video ideas that i have but it is leaving my makeup drawers at the very least because i do have a bin in my room where i keep things not in my co active collection like i won't use them i keep them for references i think that's where this one's gonna go i am going to completely get rid of the Physicians Formula Rose All Play palette. I've used this maybe once. It really doesn't appeal to me and the one time that I used it I wasn't so into the quality so I think this one's gonna go. Here is a palette that I have never used before. This is the Milani. I don't even know what this is called. Do you see how pretty that is? I've never used it though and I just don't think I'm ever gonna need it for a video so I'm going to give this one away. I have this palette right here from Crayola Beauty. I've never used this. I've never felt intrigued to use this, so I'm going to give this one away. If you see me just pulling them to the side, I'm just undoubtedly keeping them. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this palette from Wet n Wild. This is from a collection years ago. The colors are so pretty, which is why I've held onto it for so long, but I just don't need it. It doesn't have any value to me. <sighs> this one I probably don't need, but I'm gonna keep it just because it's such a great array of matte colors for a drugstore palette. Okay, so these have value to me in that these were the start to my makeup artistry journey. If you guys don't know, when I first started doing makeup on other people, I used to do it for girls in college, and these were my go-to palettes. So these will not be in my active collection, but I keep them around for kind of nostalgic purposes. So these are going to leave the drawers, but will still be, you know, in my possession. going to keep this. I need more profusion stuff. I'm going to be getting rid of this palette. I sincerely hated the quality on this palette. It was just not good. So I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of this all glitter palette from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. I just never used pressed glitters. This I bought when I was enchanted by pressed glitters, but I never use it, so bye. I am going to get rid of this from NYX. I really, really love this. This was when I first started building my own collection that I purchased these. Love the concept behind these. You have a matte row on top, a shimmer row in the middle, and like a glittery, shiny row in the bottom. These were really, really great from a drugstore. I'm not sure if they still carry these anymore, but they are awesome. I just have no need for them, so I'm going to get rid of them and the reason why I say them is because I have another one right here that's kind of the same colors but a little bit more depth anyways I don't need these and then also this used to be my go-to rainbow palette in college when I wanted to do a rainbow look. This is from NYX. I am no longer going to use this, so I am going to get rid of it. 
Let's see, keeping all of these elf palettes. See these, I don't want these. So I have two palettes from Touch and Soul. I got these in PR a few years ago and these just really honestly never appealed to me. So I think I'm going to give them away because they don't really have a home here. Look at all of these Morphe palettes. You guys know I low key, high key collect Morphe palettes. I can't help it. I think that's that for this drawer. Let me show you. These are ones that I've been trying to declutter for the longest, but I just find myself going back to them because I love the color stories. These are from Ace Beauty. I don't love the quality on these. That's why I'm like always hemming and hawing, but these palettes do truly make me feel inspired. They evoke some type of endearment in me, so I will be keeping those. On this palette, do you guys remember this? This is a Makeup Revolution collaboration palette with Rachel Leary. Oh, I I do not like the quality on this, but this is another one where I am just so attracted to it. I keep trying to make it work and I keep holding on to it and I just love how giant the packaging is. But I think that's that for this drawer. I'm also keeping the Makeup Revolution and Soph X palettes as well. I just really like them. The quality is not the greatest, again, with Makeup Revolution, but the color selection is great and I can still make these work. And I also just like them as creators. So I think that's that for this drawer. We got rid of 13 palettes from this drawer, which is really great. So let me pull this back together. Also, by the way, I know my spatial organization isn't the best. I'm doing that on a later day. Right now, I'm just trying to clean out what I can. All right, here we go. Next drawer up. This one. Whew. This is one that really needs some work. So let's move in a little bit closer. Okay, so I have most of my ColourPop palettes in here. I keep all of them. I just feel like it's great to have ColourPop shadows as reference. So all of these I'm just gonna put over to the side. The only one that I'm like doubtful of is this palette that I made very long ago using ColourPop singles. How pretty is this? My college roommate Becca put this together. Together for me. I have to hold on to it. This reminds me of yeah. <laughs> but yeah, keeping all of those ColourPop palettes and there will definitely be more floating around over here. I am going to get rid of this palette from Nomad Cosmetics, which is a shame because it's fairly new, but I just don't like the quality on this. This is the Studio 54 palette. I just don't see myself ever reaching for this. So this one's gonna go. This Muse Beauty Impressionism palette's really cool. Lots of cool palettes in here. We definitely just need some reorganization. Like all of my Kaleidos, which are amazing. Amazing. I have a lot of indie brands as well in this drawer. It's a hodgepodge of different brands. So I have all of my Odin's Eyes palettes here, which I love. Look, we have some more ColourPop. Alamara Cosmetics. This is such a cool brand. I have one of their palettes that I still need to try. The Spanglish palette. It's like a purple one, but they come out with such cool color stories. We also have some Lime Crime palettes, which are underrated in my opinion. I think they have some of the best color stories. And look at all of them. More Kaleidos. Kaleidos is taking over this drawer. Kaleidos, Colourpop, and Odin's Eye. They're everywhere, but I do a lot of videos for those brands, so I am holding on to them. You guys remember the Zodiac palette? This was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. All right, I see some things back here that probably were put into the back for a reason that I no longer need. So we'll start off with the Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries. This just has the best neutrals in here. I believe I got this in a box charm years ago but uh, I have so many good neutrals there's no need for me to have this one so I'm gonna declutter that also we have this pure palette which this palette put me on to pure I absolutely loved it it had such a cool concept you could like pull this thing off and you have an empty Z palette so these eyeshadows were also fabulous quality but they've since definitely dried out so I'm actually going to declutter like the eyeshadows but I'm gonna keep the actual palette itself because this could be made into a Z palette but anyways I I am decluttering this and then I'm also gonna declutter this cheap palette. I don't even know why I bought it. This was for one of their anniversaries but it's just really clunky cheap looking packaging. Oh, oops. 
okay uh, but yeah this is getting decluttered another pure palette which is going to bite the dust is this pure visionary palette gorgeous color story again really nice formula these have since gotten very old they're just very dry but this is a really good one from pure also going to get rid of the violet boss palette I believe it's called the holy grail palette yeah I don't know I kept this around just to have a violet boss palette to refer to the formula but it's been a few years so I'm sure the formula might be different now really great neutral colors it just you know didn't stand out in my collection I don't really read for it so I'm gonna get rid of this let's see we have some more color pop palettes that I want to hold on to though I do think I'm gonna get rid of this palette from ColourPop. I don't even know why I bought this it's a curation of a bunch of pressed glitters again I don't use pressed glitters so there really is no point these are beautiful though but I don't need it oh my goodness look at these all of these Kylie cosmetics palettes I'm gonna keep this one this is the blue honey this one is actually it's not new per se but it's one of the most recent ones that I picked up and I like the color story I am however probably just gonna keep these in my nostalgia eyeshadow palettes because man did I fight for these this is the burgundy palette convinced myself that these were absolutely amazing and to me at the time that they were I wasn't into like luxury and high-end makeup at the time but I loved the burgundy palette and I also loved the bronze palette this one I convinced myself was the most amazing everyday palette again these I'm keeping in my possession just because it really was a pivotal point in my makeup journey. I really got into makeup with these palettes and you guys know I look past just the point of use for makeup. If I find joy in swatching it, looking at it, and it has meaning to me if i want to look at it i can look at it it's fine won't put it on my eyes though this packaging oh my gosh see i'm gonna get this one out of my drawers just because i don't use this won't use it but again i feel like i can use this actually as decor maybe not now but when i move out i feel like i could do something with this so i'm gonna hold on to this but it's not going back in the drawers i am gonna hold on to this though i actually use this frequently considering the size of my collection it's great for vacation this was for one of her birthday collections and it's just a great array of colors that I found myself using all the time so this one's probably the most used palette that has ever come from her brand that I've used so I'm keeping that and we got a few other items back here I have some KKW beauty palettes these honestly I think I've only used like once like you can see that one but these are such great colors and this is from like the very beginning of the brand the mario collection i'm keeping all of these especially since my friend tara tara lynn here on youtube she loves kkw this is my homage to you tara <laughs> keeping these because of you because you love kkw we have the laura lee cosmetics nudie patootie i think this palette is beautiful i don't know if it's still good i feel like it might be a little bit dried out but i'm just gonna hold on to it do you guys remember this palette from kvd beauty no it was kat von d beauty at the time it's like metal one day and then you flip it and it says matte and it just has an interesting array of colors really really fun though this is super old i am going to declutter it a little bit underwhelming with my declutters there i decluttered about 11 <laughs> but hey i'll take it i am gonna have to refill this off camera though because it's gonna take a lot of thinking maybe let me um let's do it this way All right, you guys, here we are with another drawer. We're getting to more higher end kind of makeup. Definitely keeping my sultry and all of my ABH palettes. The majority of these I feel like I'm going to keep. This is my single shadows from like Sydney Grace. This palette, I really love. This was such an underloved palette. Like nobody liked this. I feel like because nobody really at the time understood how to use this palette from Fenty Beauty. It's just a bunch of lid toppers and galactic shades. I feel like this would go over much better now. Um, all of my melt palettes this one is going into my nostalgic drawer all of these are really old but this is when abh singles were the shadows to have i'm sure these are all dried out but me and my mom built this together so i want to hold on to this one and look at this palette from fenty beauty this was also one of the first palettes that they came out with it was the second one i'm keeping it just to have memory lane more color pop palettes that didn't fit 
we have the Leora and Ofra collaboration that I'm gonna hold on to. And this Pro Palette, I, hmm. This one I think I'm gonna have leave my collection, but I'm gonna put this with my bridal stuff because how beautiful are these colors for brides? So this is gonna be repurposed somewhere else, not in my own personal collection. I am going to get rid of this palette from Jouer. I never use it. This is the rose gold and matte eyeshadow palette. Really pretty, but doesn't stand out in my collection. Also gonna get rid of this adorable Rachel Zoe and Lorac palette. Honestly, I've never even <laughs> used this. I just got it because it was so cute, but I've never used it. It's gotta go. Keeping Sydney Grace. Duh. You guys know I have a love-hate relationship with Sigma Beauty. This palette in particular, love the color stories. I hate the quality, but keeping it. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one. I think I'm gonna give it away. This is from Ofra. I got it from Octoly a while back. I did enjoy my time with it. I don't think it's a bad palette, but Ofra shadows just aren't my favorite. I would rather give this to somebody else who's gonna use it because it's a perfectly good and new palette, but I just know it's not gonna be something that I will use, so I'm gonna give this away, I think. Lima Corderosa. Again, so pretty, but don't know if I'll ever use it. We also have Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream. What a fun palette. I should pull that out. I think I'm going to rehome this Nabla Cosmetics pressed glitter palette. These are really great pressed glitters. I just won't reach for this, so that one's gonna go. All right, next up, let's talk about these heart palettes that I've held on to for a while. I've been thinking about decluttering these for a while. So this first one, I got in a subscription box. I just think the highlight colors are so pretty, but there really isn't anything special about this. So I'm gonna declutter this. This one is going in my sentimental palette because this is the palette that I use to pass makeup school in my final exam. So it does have some special meaning. It makes me think of that when I see this. So that's gonna be going there. And this one was one of my favorite palettes back in the day a few years ago. It's really just a bunch of shimmer colors, but I use it all the time. So it is now officially time to declutter, so I'm gonna do that. This was called the Make Believe in Yourself palette, and I believe this was pretty popular a few years ago. <clears throat> as much as I do not like this Pure and Rub Beauty Christie palette, I just don't like the formula in here. It's still kind of a relevant palette to my channel, so I'm gonna hold on to that. This one, nobody talked about. This is from Tarte. This is called the Rainforest of the Sea Foil Finger Palette. And these formulations are so good. Nobody talks about these, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to this. It's beautiful, a bunch of gorgeous lid toppers. These are all of my Touch of Glam Beauty shadows. This is an indie brand, <laughs> definitely holding on to this. Look at those gorgeous shades. I am going to declutter this Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette. I held on to this for so long just because the colors are so good, but I just, I don't need it. I'll never use it. So it's really just wasting space in here. I also have a couple small palettes from Persona and they're very beautiful colors, though I do think I'm going to get rid of them just because I received these a while ago and honestly, I've never used them. So I just feel like there really is no point of holding on to these. Definitely keep my tiny marvels palette and this palette is underloved in my opinion it's such a unique color story so i'm keeping that love the too faced pumpkin spice talk about a good one now this is an inglot palette that i customized a few years ago and it's like kind of random colors <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna declutter this because i never ever use it so that's gonna go have another nabla glitter quad again i really love their glitters but i don't ever reach for this so i shall be decluttering oh man this is gonna be hard well this one's not hard i love this this is the dose of colors and i love sarahi palette i feel like they haven't collabed in a while with one of the bigger YouTubers. They had a phase where they did that with the eyeshadow palettes and they have a good formula. But anyways, this is such a cute palette. Now these Lorac palettes, they have a hold on me. They really do. Um, I've been trying to declutter this one for a while. I believe I made a whole video on palettes that I needed to declutter and this is one of them. This is the Lorac Unzipped palette and it just has the most gorgeous mauve tones. But it's been in my collection long enough. It's been on the chopping block long enough. 
Today is the day I am decluttering it. I also will be getting rid of my Lorac Pro 3. I mean, guys, these carried me through the beginning of my makeup stages. This is one of my first cool tone palettes ever that I love, but these are so well loved. They are so old. It is officially time to get rid of these, and I'm going to definitely have a hard time with these because they're so big, and I just love how big they are. These are the Mega Pros. I'm really tempted to hold on to these. This is the original Mega Pro. Now, I bought this later in the game years after it had released so it's honestly probably not expired i mean i'm feeling good that i'm getting rid of the little palettes i just need to get rid of these as well they don't make these anymore you guys can't get a hold of them but these were it for me for the longest time but it's time to get rid of those oh my goodness you can see this drawer is so heavy you can see that it was like breaking i definitely needed to do this so we have the urban decay naked heat palette gonna keep this just for reference i don't necessarily love it but i do think I think it would be useful keeping my big BK Beauty True Beauty palette. I love this. This is an older palette from Too Faced, but it's really, really nice. I love the way it smells. Gonna keep that. Um, okay, this palette, not a lot of people liked, but I liked it. It fed into my glitter fantasy that I once lived in, but I think now is the time that I can get rid of this palette. I feel like I've outgrown this palette. The quality on this really wasn't even that great anyways, but it's time to say goodbye. It's a little bit tacky. Keeping all of my Nabla palettes. I love the quality on those. Even though I really do not like the Stone Vibes palette from Urban Decay, again, this is a good reference to have, so I'm gonna hold on to that. This is a fairly new palette. We have my Lunar and Beauty Moonspell palette that's stunning. This was a favorite of mine for a long time. For a while, this was like my everyday go-to palette. This is the MAC Queen Supreme palette. I was particularly in love with the gold shade right here and the highlight shade, but again, I've outgrown this. It's been a few years so i'm gonna declutter this all of my makeup by mario palette's gonna be keeping those keep keep hmm what am i gonna do with these that i had these so i have a couple mac nine pan palettes so this is a really gorgeous purple one i haven't used this one very often i don't want it i don't need it decluttering this also gonna declutter this mac and patrick star quad really pretty colors oh you know what actually i think i'm gonna keep this because this one is pretty new you guys i actually picked this up from the cco and i think it has some really great staple purple colors so this one is actually gonna stay in my collection just a little bit longer i got some old Too faced palettes hiding back here i need to fix see if i can fix this drawer <laughs> before i put palettes back in gingerbread extra spicy keeping keeping all of the Too faced gingerbread palettes and though i could declutter these old school guys i just need to keep them you know what though they will be going in the nostalgia drawer not the active makeup drawer because you know what thinking about it these are super old they have to be super old, okay? Those two are gonna go. <laughs> and we have this guy, which is amazing. Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. Oh, I can't even open it, but I'm keeping it. And then finally, this is from a holiday collection, 2018. And I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. Not really a fan of the holiday palette. So I will say this is one of the better holiday palettes, but it's not one that I'm going to use or feature on my channel ever again. So it's gonna go. All right, I'm not gonna feel myself filling this one up because I gotta see if I can do something with that drawer and I'll be back for the last eyeshadow drawer. All right, guys, it's time for the last eyeshadow palette drawer. These are mostly my higher end palettes. Again, things got mix matched, but let's, um, let's do this. Let me back it up so you can kind of see a little bit more what we're working with. Um, wow, lots of new palettes in this drawer, I see. I am going to declutter my Naked 3 palette. Am I? Mm, actually, no, I still like that. <laughs> I lied, I lied. I'm gonna declutter this though from Chantikai. This is fairly new, but I severely dislike this. I just... I repress the shadow. It's just not worth it. Actually, just kidding. I'm keeping this too. It's a good one and done palette. I don't like it though. It's not worth the money. I have this Bobbi Brown purple palette that I'm holding on to. Oh my goodness. You guys remember this? Kevin Aquan nude pop palette. How pretty is that? I forgot I had that. Uh, let me work through this. Hold on. 
I'm getting rid of this. This is going my nostalgia drawer. This is the palette that I used in makeup school. This is what they gave in our first starter kit of all these colors. So I'm definitely keeping this, but it's not going in this collection anymore. I think most of the stuff I probably am going to want to keep just because this is like my favorite makeup items in this drawer. New items, favorite ones. One that I am going to declutter is this one from Linda Hallberg. My mom gave this to me and I haven't even reached for it since she gave it to me. So I don't know, these just aren't colors that I like. So I'm gonna let this one go. I don't think really there will be anything else. Just taking a look, all of these brands are ones that I feature frequently on my channel. I have my very slow growing collection of Dior. I have all of the ABH palettes, which I'm definitely keeping. I think this is going to be the most disappointing drawer as far as decluttering. Though I do see one in the back that I do want to declutter. So let me dig back there. But I'm definitely keeping all of my Huda palettes. Like in actuality, of course I don't use all of the Huda palettes, but I do a lot of Huda palette videos. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a Pat McGrath palette of six shades that are fabulous quality, but I don't need this at all. I think I'm gonna give this away to somebody. Like this isn't one that I'll throw away, but I don't want it in my collection anymore because I don't need it. I am getting rid of this Makeup Forever Starlet palette. This came out years ago and it was pretty for the time. This was the time when the lid toppers were just starting to become popular, but I no longer have a use for it, so I'm gonna let this one go. Now I'm struggling with these Laura Mercier ones. I've talked about wanting to declutter these before. They're just so soft and sweet and pretty. Look at this one. This one is like a face palette and an eye palette. I'm telling you now, I'm not decluttering them. But these are the ones, you know, that I want to declutter. I know I should, but I just, I just can't. But really, this drawer is kind of full of my favorite items, my favorite brands, and brands that I feature on my channel a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep all of these. Oh my goodness. So I'm done with my palette drawers and cleansing them. And even though I, I have a large number still, obviously, I ended up decluttering 44. Like, these are completely leaving my house bye bye and then i also semi decluttered 10 so overall i got rid of 55 palettes just about from that drawer set which i did not expect that number to be that high i am very impressed with myself and i feel much more cleansed so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during this video while i clean i hope you enjoyed it if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i will see you all in the next one bye